Welcome back to Bioshock 2, and the big sister's on the way, it's terrible. My name is Belga, there you are! Holy sh- Ha! <laughs> I was not prepared for that! Oh, my name's Bear! Last time we played, we took care of all the little sisters in this area, and I need to film her immediately! Okay, we got it. Very good. Now, I'm out to anti-personnel rounds. Your little sister restores your health after gathering out of That's fantastic. I need to get back to rivets. There we go. Heavy rivets are the name of the game right now. But Big Sister is actually in the best room she could possibly be in. I was wondering if she would show up just out of the blue. But uh, as long as I can stay out of the line of fire, basically, I'm going to be okay in here. Because she's going to take a lot of damage from my uh, turret friends. She took down one of the turrets already. Uh, at least one of the stationary ones. So... That's not going to help me anymore, but uh, I do still have my turret friends. If she's going to try to take care of those, it will be definitely detrimental to her. She's almost down to half health. My goodness, these things are ridiculous. All right. There she go. Okay. That hurt. I need to not be hit, basically, at all. Oh, my goodness. Where'd she go? She tried to shriek at me. Oh, I think... Oh, wow. She's taking care of splicers for me, too. That's going to be wonderful. Holy cow. She's like... She reminds me of something you would find in PsyOps, the Mind Gate Conspiracy. I don't know if anybody's familiar with that but me. Oh my goodness, this is insane. I've got 16 more heavy rivets and I've got her throwing firebolts at me. Just gotta stay alive, just gotta stay alive. Everything's gonna be fine. Please, please, turret friends, do the majority of the damage for me. I can't take any more hits, damn it! Go away! All right, everything's okay. I'm just staying alive scrappily. All right, she's trying to play the freaking flanking game. I'm game to do that, lady. Let's go. Oh, man, she is so strong. All right, take her out, take her out, take her out, please. Get more turret buddies. Everything's going to be fine. Just keep lighting her up. I've got enough e hypo to last me a little while. She's almost gone. If I can just unload on her. Oh, my goodness. I am surviving this. I am not dying. That much is a guarantee! I got stuck on something, but I'm okay. I'm fine. Oh, she's almost gone. She's almost gone. Don't get cornered, though. That's the most important aspect. She's getting pelleted by something. Oh, it's almost over. It's almost over! Take her out, please! Is she gone? Thank you. Thank God. Holy cow. We got Adam, Eve, Hypo, and Money. That's probably the best possible outcome we could have had here. Anyway, how's it going, guys? <laughs> that was an exciting start to the episode, wasn't it? Let's get the hell out of here. These guys, unfortunately, didn't fi follow me inside here, but uh, most of them are just about dead anyway, so I should be able to just pop out and take care of business. Here. Oh, what the hell? No! Oh, freaking spider splicer probably came up from behind. Not that big of a deal. We had to get out of there anyway, so uh, kind of provided us a shortcut, actually. I'm much more happy with my reincarnated self. Gonna go ahead and blow this guy to smithereens and unload on his face. There we are. Because Tommy Gun is probably gonna help. I really need to start filming him again, man. I've just been freaking out. Just trying to get through everything. But, uh, not filming. And, uh, while I say it, I should probably do it. Ah, uh, get the hell out of here, sir! No, thank you. I wonder if bashing them is a, uh, different result than just taking them out with regular weapons. I would imagine so. Spear gun through the chest. Or the hand, you know. Close enough. Let's see what we got going on now. Ooh, that's, uh... Oh, I thought that was a big daddy. That would be curious. Now then, let's make our way out. Getting closer and closer to the end goal. First of all, I need to make sure that I'm in decent enough shape to get there. I'm gonna buy some buckshot. I'm gonna hang on to my, uh... cash for now. Just because I've seen the result of not using my money wisely in the past, and I need to do a better job at that. So let's film these guys real quick, just because I know it'll help increase damage. That's exactly what I was hoping for, baby. Thank you very much. There's a Houdini splicer here. I think it's probably in my best interest to film him as well. And go boom! Almost gone. He's very close to death. Although he might have escaped and gotten to a... Uh, oh, what the hell is that?! That is not fair, buddy. Easier to predict, predict Houdini's movements. I didn't even know that was a possibility. I thought he just kind of randomly apparated in places. Oh, well. That's fantastic. I'll take that as a plus. Now then. Oh, wait a minute. 
Oh, yeah, I've already used that. Okay. I was thinking upgrade, upgrade station out of nowhere. That would be insanely helpful. I am not going to miss out on any chances to film you folks no longer. Bo oh, he's a spider. Okay, so just be careful. Shoot a spear through his body, and we're done. One to oh, another one. Jeez. All right. You know what? I just gotta take that guy out. Yeah. I'm not even worried about it. This spear gun ammunition, man, I swear, it's fantastic. It's probably the equivalent of the crossbow from the first game. Which is, uh, more than okay with me, I'll tell you that. Now, time to revisit Mr. Stanley Poole and get our task finished. I'm imagining that our encounter is going to be less than cordial. I have known for years of Stanley's betrayal here and had forgiven him. But in compromising Eleanor now, he seals his fate. You see, it was Stanley who turned you into Ryan. He is responsible for what you have become. The security booth is open now. You may have your revenge. So if I were to ever kill one of these people... Sweet Jesus. Lamb, no! And she just let me hang myself out the... Oh, God! No, no, no. Come on, pal. The, the, the train's ready! Just... Just let me live! Now, I wonder if this diary will influence my decision. Let's have a listen. Or not. Apparently doesn't want to let me. I'm kind of leaning towards killing him. I've never felt the desire to kill an NPC the way I have with this man. I can't do it. I can't do it, guys. My heart is... is too strong for me. I have to let him go. He's a... he's a good man at heart. I promise you. Mother's not lying this time, Father. He really did it. To both of us. I'm a better man. Do not... justify the ends by the means. Would rather let him live a better life. Onward we go to Fontaine Futuristics. I am actually starting to uh, second guess my decision right there. But I'm sure we'll hear about the end this of it. This is it, Chief. End of the line. If I'm right, Eleanor's mama's use an atom to force all Rapture's minds and memories into the poor girl. Lamb reckons it'll make that child a saint. Now, Eleanor's in a deep, dark place beneath Fontaine headquarters, and to keep you alive, we need to sneak in and find her. Sneaking is my middle name. It's Subject Sneaking Delta. That's what they call me. And that other nickname that Stanley Poole uh, apparently associated with me. Where are we heading now through the Atlantic Express in the Fontaine Futuristics? Ascension is near. I'd imagine so. Right through the neck there. Oh god, okay. Just make sure he's lit on fire, if at all possible, and then go, boom. Man, he just took that like a man, didn't he? He's like, yeah, I'm on fire, eff it. I can handle it. I'm getting speared through the chest, too. That's among my favorite activities. Oh, hey, it's it's Dr. Sophia Lamb. And she's watching. I'm not sure how comfortable I feel about that. I probably missed a golden opportunity for research there, eh? Need to think about that more. It's okay. Move right through along here now. Inside. Chris, please, please hurry, Daddy. Oh, man. She's leaving me messages. Wait a minute. I missed a gift. Oh, God, no. I missed a gift at the Gatherer's Garden. I really hope it's still there. Get more damage research done. I'm going to store that away. It's not entirely necessary. Okay, please tell me... There's a gatherer's garden nearby that I can October get. October 9th, 1967. Hello. <clears throat> My name is Gilbert Alexander. And by the time you hear this, I will be clinically insane. I am recording these diaries in advance as a last-ditch effort to assist anyone I might threaten in dealing with me. My next message awaits you beyond the security checkpoint. The bioscan will ensure that you're sane enough to need it. I feel okay. I think I'm ready to get this thing. Drain it out. Gil Alexander. As I recall, he was involved in Big Daddy development from the beginning. 
Likely had something to do with you and Eleanor, son. So apparently, uh... He was planning on somebody who was able to withstand thousands of gallons of water pressure as well as breathing in such conditions. <laughs> I'm guessing it wasn't hoping that a, uh, a, a human being would try to follow up on his messages. Another thing I just noticed too, that Adam is like a snake looking thing. It's kind of a weird... I don't know, I guess, I guess that's kind of what I would expect it to look like. I don't really know what I would expect it to look like, but the more I think about it, it's an interesting little phenomenon there. Gonna be able to get inside here? There we are. Drain it out and away we go. Through the flooding! Oh, yes. Always better to breathe clean, solid air. Hello there now. You're fired. No, you're fired! Ha! I win the match. Clearly I've, uh... Outwitted you, Mr. Wall. Or, uh, maybe he's talking to him. You have a nice hat. I mean, like, you're dead. But at least you can go out knowing that your... your bowler is fashionable. We've got Houdini's on foot. I think this turret is talking to us. I just came from the ocean, man. It's actually quite nice. Oh, we've got some Houdini splices about. All right, let's let's do this properly here. Now we're gonna wait for her to come down, light her up, and then go boom and a little another one for the fire. Bam! There we are. Futuristic, isn't it? My ways of dealing with these issues. There's another one up here. Just gotta make sure we don't miss out on anything too useful. I'm getting hit by a turret or something. I really don't like the zoom mechanic on this spear gun. It takes far too long to come back out. Another minor gripe, I suppose. Oh god, alright, hang on now. I've got to light up my giant fireball and send you straight to hell. Kaboom! Very good, I'm getting annihilated by a Houdini. Came behind me, man. That's not fair. There he is, in we go. Bam! And we're just gonna hit him in the face. Seems effective. There we are. And oh my goodness, I am getting... I'm getting annihilated. Let's do this properly. Grab this, uh, whatever he's got. There we are. Stop shooting at me, please! Just need a break from all this, man! Way too many enemies in this area. We're gonna be fine now, though. Alex the Great? Oh, hell, that has to be Gil Alexander. Same man who left that message we're following. He sounds mad as a March hare now. It's pretty mad, man. I've seen Alice in Wonderland before. I know what that's like. I've got some security bomb. Oh, okay, they're right in my face, buddy. Uh, let's take this guy on my side. Oh, goodness, I'm screwed. I'm dead. I'm dying. I'm dying. This isn't good. Oh, wait, I can buy first aid. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Now, need to please get out my electro bolts. Try if I can shock him down. Ah, oh, if I can just be accurate for once in my life. Okay, there we are. Oh, goodness. Try it again. There we are. And boom, got it. All right. Get this guy on my side. Actually, yeah, here we go, and... Gotcha! Very good. Still getting shot. Please, my friends, do the damage for me so I can focus on the hack. Thank you. Got it, and boom. All right. That was kind of a worthwhile or a worthless effort now that I've purchased the items with all the money I had, but needed to be done anyway. I had to feel like it was... It was gonna play out for me well in the end. Ah, I always forget to hack those! All the little mistakes are gonna stockpile in this room now. Let's go look for Mr. Alexander the Great. He shares a name with me. Well, not my, uh, not my real name. Well, yes, my real name. You know what I mean. I'm not a bio. I hope that doesn't complicate things. I identified clinical trial subject. Classification. Protector. Designation. Delta. Status. Dis-dis-deceased. Error. Updating status. 
Stand by. I'm pretty sure I'm not deceased. Although I can understand the confusion there. I have a friend? Oh, I hope it's not a big sister. I'm not ready for that. Whoa, boy! Holy cow! That's, uh, oh, that's a big daddy. All right, so it's not, not anything too terrible. Unless, oh, man, what are you? You're another Subject Delta, aren't you? Oh, that's fun. Hi! You just want to say hello? That's fun. Oh, God. You hurt a lot. Well, I guess it's time to take the, oh, wait a minute. Research camera. Probably for the best. Alpha series. Oh, increased damage vulnerable to armor-piercing rounds. I think I have some of those. Let's see. Nope, I don't. All right, well, time to get out the solid slugs. I hope that'll do enough damage for me. Where's he going? Come here, buddy. Time to take it down. Alpha series ain't got nothing on Delta, man. Delta for life. Let's do this. He's got a rocket launcher or something crazy. Some armor-piercing rounds for me, too. Delta. Status updated. Status Access granted. Woo! Fantastic. Let's see if I can't repair my little turret bot buddy real fast. Hello again. I... I have been exposed to a massive dose of substance, Adam. By the time you hear this, I will have armed this facility's defenses on Mars. You, my friend, must therefore penetrate them and kill me. Please believe that if I could have done it myself, Ah, and on that cheery note, you may use the diary lying near this screen to bypass the vocal print locks ahead and enter the security office. The password is Agnes Day. Agnes Day. Interesting. All right, we got the safe here. It looks like we've got some uh, bandages and Dolores, as well as its uh, diary for us. Agnes Day. Oh, just... Tells us it again. All right, well, <laughs> that was worthless. Please see password to enter. Agnes Day. Agnes Day. Oh, that's right. We can't talk. That's why we have to have that thing. Access granted. Welcome, Gil Alexander. That's me. I heard that. My likeness is company property, Delta, just like you are. Don't make me strip you for parts, Milado. I think you're already planning on doing that, buddy. Ooh, we got a uh, weapon upgrade station inside, it looks like. Let's see if we can't get in this doorway. Somehow. In some way. There we are. Oh, uh, I think the voice activation will work here, too. Password to enter. I warned you. He's jamming the voice print lock with that awful crooning. See if you can find some way to sabotage his control of building security. I was thinking it was just a really elaborate password. Delta, you're The security office is well above your pay grade. If you're so keen to help, the restrooms need a good scrap. Yes, I'm going to go to to help you along. Oh, we're going to have to take care of some guys, aren't we? Breaking gills, control over security is our next objective. I should probably not use my solid slug for these guys. I probably want to switch back out to the regular uh, rivet gun, for which we have a lot of ammunition now, apparently. That's always nice. And a big daddy and little sister, too. Take these guys down nice and easy. My turret friends are coming in very handy. And uh, I think it's time that we try to regroup here. Thanks so much for watching. Today's episode of Bioshock 2, we've gotten through here to meet Alexander the Great. We're going to be taking down his security control as well as probably taking out this big daddy next time. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Bear. I'll see you then.